Well, Gift Nut Soccer Centre started in 1995, just a group of dads that they want to get together, together boys and football. The club is now growing, and I understand we're the, the biggest community club in Scotland with over 1,200 members, 200 coaches, most of them volunteers, and uh, we're just growing and growing and growing. And we took over these premises in 2013, and that's when I get involved. It's been fantastic getting them back. Obviously, the girls were off for such a long time. I think they were sick of the zooms that we were trying to do. Um, we did cover a lot in, over that time, but you can't you can't replicate what they can do on the grass and on the pitch with their coaches. So it's great to get them back, and they've been fantastic since being back. We're very fortunate, obviously. There's renovation work now at Ockenhowie, uh, which obviously means that we ha uh, had to go off site. Fantastic that Giffnock have opened their doors to us and allowed us to train. There's three magnificent pitches uh, that you see behind me just now, and as you said, it allows all the squads to come in and train, um, which is great for me because it allows me to see all the, the girls on one site. It allows the staff to interact as well and communicate with one another, which I think particularly over lockdown, again, over Zooms, it's been more difficult. So it's great to actually see people in person and obviously see them in action. So it's been fantastic and we're also very grateful to Giffnock uh, to allow us to train here as well. It's, uh, it's brilliant actually to be fair, the girls have obviously missed a lot of football over the last few months so um, it's great to get everyone back out on, on the pitch and getting back to playing games at the weekends now so uh, fantastic, um, great facility here as well we're using just, just now and uh, all positive, really good to see them all and good atmosphere around the place as well. For the players, I, f I felt really sorry for. They missed a lot of development and everything else, mm. but the girls managed to work really hard over over the lockdown with running programmes and sports science programmes. So all of that taken into account was brilliant. Um, in terms of the coaches, we all missed just being on the pitch. Um, missed the fact that all the camaraderie as well, being at a football club and being in part of Rangers is, is massive. So lots of misses, but again, when they come back, it makes everyone realise how good it is and everyone really grabs the, the bull by the horns, if you like.